Madam President, today is Texas Independence Day. 184 years ago today, the Texians declared our independence, declared our independence from Mexico, and fired a shot for liberty that was heard around the world. As I have done a number of years in the past, I am going to read the letter from the Alamo that Lieutenant Colonel William Barrett Travis wrote calling for help. It is a letter that energized the Texians across our great state, that energized lovers of liberty. It is also a letter that I read the very first time I ever spoke on this Senate floor. And these are words to inspire everyone. Commandancy of the Alamo, Bear, February 24th, 1836, to the people of Texas and all Americans in the world, fellow citizens and compatriots, I am besieged by a thousand or more of the Mexicans under Santa Ana. I have sustained a continual bombardment and cannonade for 24 hours and have not lost a man. The enemy has demanded a surrender at discretion. Otherwise, the garrison are to be put to the sword if the fort is taken. I have answered the demand with a cannon shot, and our flag still waves proudly from the walls. I shall never surrender or retreat. Then I call on you in the name of liberty, of patriotism and everything dear to the American character to come to our aid with all dispatch. The enemy is receiving reinforcements daily and will no doubt increase to three or four thousand in four or five days. If this call is neglected, I am determined to sustain myself as long as possible and die like a soldier who never forgets what is due to his own honor and that of his country. Victory or death. Signed, William Barrett Travis, Lieutenant Colonel Commandant. P.S. The Lord is on our side. When the enemy appeared in sight, we had not three bushels of corn. We have since found in deserted houses 80 or 90 bushels and got into the walls 20 or 30 head of beeves. Signed, Travis. The brave men and women of the Alamo gave their lives for liberty. But shortly thereafter, at the Battle of San Jacinto, the Texans were victorious, and the Republic of Texas was formed, an independent nation. From 1836 to 1845, for nine years, we were our own nation. And then Texas joined the United States of America. We are proud Americans, but we're proud of the history of the brave Texians. I yield the floor.